Hi, I'm Carrie Carlson, and this is an instructional video showing the scientific illustration of a pair of northern cardinals in colored pencil. At this point in the project, we've already done our background research and image gathering. For me, that looks like sketching birds at the feeder and taking reference photos for color matching. Then I've worked out the composition, you know, how close are they, what direction are they facing, the angles of their head and feet, the kind of branch I want them to be on, all that stuff. I've done that on tracing paper because it's easy to erase and, and make changes and stuff. And then I will transfer it to good paper real lightly um, because graphite can interfere with the waxiness of the colored pencil. You'll notice that my drawing hand is on a piece of tracing paper. I always do that to prevent smudging or any of those little flakes of colored pencil that, that come off. If they get pressed into the paper, they will leave a mark and that's a pain to have to clean up and deal with later. So when we begin, we I usually start by layering in some color just to kind of give myself the feeling of the personality of the bird a little bit, but always working on building up form. Form before details. As scientific illustrators, we always just want to hop right into the details, but if you've done a ton of work on the detail stuff, it's really hard to change the form later on if you if you just haven't created much three-dimensionality, if it's kind of flat, if you've done all the detail work, and then to have to go back and, and enforce your shadows or your highlights, it's such a pain in the neck to have to redo all the details. So always keep that in mind. Take a step back and look at your overall form. Make sure you're building up values in a way that um, in, you know, really drives home the three-dimensionality of your subject. Let's see. So as we're building up values, uh, we're also creating textures. And again, continuing to check on the form as you build up textures, make sure you haven't lost your shadows and highlights and reflected light and all that kind of stuff. And then as I'm working and things are starting to, to come forward and get waxier, I like to enhance my shadows and my highlights, always keeping in mind some of the, just the basics of light on form. So do I have a clear highlight? Is my core shadow um, where it needs to be. Uh, in scientific illustration, we tend to use an upper left-hand light source. And once you've got a lot of practice with that, it's pretty easy to apply that method to all kinds of different shapes. So you can see here, we've got a shadow underneath the wing and a shadow underneath onto the tail where things overlap one another. Again, here's the second bird. So this is the male cardinal. And again, putting in the form first, you can see the core shadow, a little bit of reflected light, the highlight. And then I'm starting to build up some of the details. My mark making follows the natural direction of the feather or the texture that's there so that it just reinforces the different um, textures that we're creating. I'm working on Stonehenge paper, which is uh, a really wonderful drawing or printmaking paper. It's thick enough to hold up to some pretty rough color pencil work. You can build up nice waxy layers and not worry about it buckling or tearing through the page. Again, here's the branch working on light on form. So getting my core shadow in there, cast shadows from underneath the birds, highlight, little reflected light, which is such a cool trick to just bring out 3D forms. It's a subtle light, the reflected light, but it really does make a nice difference in the, the end product. All right, adding lots of details, checking on my form, double checking for any kind of things that stand out that need to be corrected before the final thing is over with. And then being really careful to go around and clean up any edges that need it. I like to use a really soft brush to gently get rid of any little flecks that have wound up on the paper. I have occasionally even used sandpaper to remove some of them uh, before doing a, a final giveaway or submission to a show. Thanks so much for watching.